We're back. <laughs> Sorry we haven't posted for so long. Look how big he's got. We last posted back in August, or posted vlogged um, in August, so apologies. Um, we didn't really have a lot to update you on um, until now. So um, Ernie, say hello. Um, and let me put him down. He's huge. He's supposed to be a mini. Uh, he's already way past the size of a mini and he's not yet quite six months old. So, right, so let me put him down. Uh, ah, okay, hi. So that was Ernie. He's grown a little bit since the last time. Um, yes, I'm really, again, sorry we haven't been on. Um, so where are we? We're now in December. Um, we first bought our boat back in August, um, had the survey done, just gonna fill you in very briefly uh, for those who haven't seen us or uh, seen our vlog before. Um, so we bought it in August, uh, had the survey done, um, to which it uh, needed a few points, blacking, um, uh, it needed something sorting with its engine. Um, if you can remember from the, sec the last vlog we did, um, the surveyor turned around and said it's um, the worst one he's done in a while, um, which, wasn't great news for us, but um, the Broker's Ridge has been really brilliant. Um, they were looking for a reconditioned engine for us, so that's really what we've been waiting for until now. Since August, we've been trying to um, get to the waterside, uh, rivers, canals, um, looking at locks, um, as much as we can, taking the dog early for a walk um, along towpaths, um, just to Get that, keep that excitement going um, of our initial visit to the waters in August um, to keep it going from you know all that time until this date. So um, we have really been enjoying that as well. And we've also been um, looking at what sort of design we want in the boat, um, creating mood boards, um, looking at ideas of other narrow boats as well and how they've done the inside of their boats. So that pretty much brings you up to last week. Um, we received phone calls, emails um, from the marina brokerage um, and um, the boat was ready. Um, everything's been carried out, all the work's been done, the engine's been refitted, tested, they've tried it out um, and it's now ready for completion. Um, needless to say, we're very excited. I didn't expect it to you know, happen because we've waited for so long, it was now a shock to us that it was happening. Um, so very excited. Two days later, on Tuesday, the 6th of December, we got up at five o'clock in the morning, dark, traveled through till it literally saw the sunrise, traveled up to the marina to see the boat. And I'll leave you with this. This really made me chuckle. Paul, who's only ever started a narrow boat engine up once and never actually driven a narrow boat, asked the professional if he wants any help. Needless to say, he didn't want his help. <laughs> well, 
Before it was early, it must have been frozen. It was just before the temperatures hit minus, um, hence why he's got his coat on. Where's he going with it? Started first, I think we're being moved. Well, clearly. I think we're being <laughs> really? Moved. I would say we're being oh, moved. Oh shit, Sherlock. We're being moved somewhere else. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. We're being moved down. We're moved. Going right down the end. Down the end with all the riffraff. All the riffraff down the end, all the noisy dogs. Oh, look, the swans are following. They've got their own swans. There she is, in all her glory. I'm in the lounge, kitchen area. I'll take you through, actually. Let's take you through. That's the fire. Then we've got toilet. Um, here are. Hi. <laughs> Into the. I think it's nice. The mirror's nice. That's back to pool. And then into the bedroom area, and that takes you out to the front of the boat. Let me take you out there. Hang on. Out to the front of the boat. Uh, oh, are you alright then? Yeah. As it's, set, as it's a bit of a major task, we're yeah. not really sure where to start. I think the best thing to do is to rip out everything we don't like, i.e. the kitchen, etc. Get us back to a blank hands. And then sort of make our next move from there. The same it's time, the duck hatch, by the way. He's been working on the bedroom. I don't really know what to do in this bedroom though. Got an extension on it, it might be a decent size one. I don't think so. <laughs> Manny, what are you doing? <laughs> Got the priorities in. The first thing we brought in is a rug. An old rug. But just because we thought it would be really cold on the dog's feet. It's actually not cold on the floor at all, so um, that's fine. And the dog bed. So, he's all right. He's got toys. Um, oh, and his little bowl. Other than that, nothing else brought in. Um, as long as he's happy, we're happy. If you're sitting on that end of the sofa, you're going to get very hot from the stove, basically. Do you... Do you guys, do you get hot? Is it literally who's next to it or is it just the whole boat? I think the whole boat gets hot. Yeah, no, I understand from the that. Stove. I don't think it's just whoever's sitting next to the blooming thing. I've seen dogs sitting right next to the stoves. Yeah, was it on? What, the dog? No, <laughs> the, the stove. stove. <laughs> <laughs> so, just going to open the duck hatch. So this is the view we'll have at the moment. <sighs> if we sit and have a morning coffee, looking at the duck hatch. Obviously, other views will be available. That's where you're going to download. There you go, Lance. What do you think? Rubbish. <laughs> Absolute rubbish. How am I going to run around on that? <laughs> <laughs> That is a great idea what you just said.
just said by one. So your your cabin will come down here, get to a central sort of height. And then curve into like storage with the T V on top. On along here somewhere. T V under the little bit of storage. Storage, because yeah. That is a flash. And then that side the right. TV's there. Yeah. yeah, again, when I'm sitting down, I won't be able to see TV. Surprise, surprise, never can, can I? Well, you ain't getting my sofa. So, yeah, it's your sofa, though, is yeah, it? Yeah, just, just start so, reading. Because if the sofa's here, and obviously you're better off looking at me anyway all evening rather than the TV. What have you? I've got, look, he's yeah. watching TV, which would be there. I'm watching this. Yeah, exactly. So, that's the boat. Uh, it was so cold on there. It really was absolutely freezing on there. Um, we, we got the basis of, right, we're going to put this there. We're going to, as you could see in it, um, rowing over. <laughs> Not rowing, but <laughs> where we're going to put this sofa. Um, it, it's quite hard, isn't it, limiting um, the sizing, what you've got and, and where to put things. Because in your head, you're like, yeah, I'm going to put that there. I want a coffee table. And obviously, there's just no room for that sort of thing. Um, but we've got good plans in our head um, and obviously throughout this video I've used we, welcome to our blog, welcome to this. You'll notice somebody is missing here today, that's because he, uh, Paul, is actually at the boat today. Um, I would be there, don't think that I wouldn't be there. I'm not put off by the cold or hard work. It's um, football that's got in my way. We had a slight, because football's on tonight, obviously England playing and... He was going to go off and watch the football, which is fine, but I'm not confident enough to stay on the boat yet on my own with the dog. Um, and I didn't know how warm it was going to be. So, And really, this weekend, he's um, ripping the kitchen part out. Um, so he's got strict instructions to video the correct way up, um, although he's already sent me two this morning the wrong way up. Um, so a phone call to say, do them the right way up has happened so hopefully we'll, we will have some video footage of what he's doing down there um, and hopefully I can post a little bit more often than um, what I have done so all good fit four months was the last post so hopefully I can every two weeks or so I'd say and maybe every week um, until we get regular um, work to show you down there and what we're doing um, we had a great delivery the other day because uh, we're we pre-organised it, everything. So we've got the cooker and everything already um, on the van um, and down there today. Obviously, we're not ready to fit the cooker and all that yet, but it's down there and we have got all those. Uh, we've got the kitchen sort of sorted. Paul's making um, the units to go in the kitchen. Um, so it's all the woods with him today. So he did he did stay because obviously we watch a lot of youtube videos and uh some some people take a, a lot of time to do things which is fine you know but me and paul are quite we design it and get it all done um we usually you know get a room done within a day so we're not that we're slapdash but we we're very on task um so when we've been watching all the videos we've sort of been laughing going oh, how it's taken us so long and he phoned this morning he was down there at half seven this morning, uh, left at like five o'clock this morning. Down there it's the half seven and uh, he, he said, it's 11 o'clock. He went, I haven't even started work yet. I like, what have you been doing then? He was like, no, I know how these videos go now. What it was, was I got chatting to the bloke in the marina and he said, I've got to do it. So he said he hadn't even started the work and it was 11 o'clock. So we now, we're on what people call canal time, canal time. We will do things in canal time. So I'll update you as soon as we can do things in canal time. Um, but thank you for watching. Uh, thanks for bearing with us. And uh, hopefully check in with you in the next couple of weeks. Bye. Ernie says bye too. Bye.